Is doing YouTube worth it in 2020? What's up? I'm Kevin and I'm going to be taking a look at how the coronavirus pandemic has impacted financial earnings for people that are putting content on YouTube. Of course, you have less advertisers on the platform in general. So consequently, that leads to less ads being put up on YouTubers videos and them even getting less paid for each ad that they are putting on their own videos. So we're going to be taking a look at how this pandemic has messed up the earnings for YouTubers and content creators. And let's see if it's worth it if you're trying to be a content creator yourself or make a channel. Is it worth it to get into YouTube right now? So let's get into the data. Okay, so let's take a look at how CPMs are taking a hit during the coronavirus. So a CPM is essentially how much money you make per thousand of people that watch your videos and there's an ad played before that view. So we're gonna call this a monetized playback. For every time someone watches your video and there's an ad before that video, um, that's a monetized playback. And back in December, I'd make around $12, this is Canadian dollars, um, for every thousand of people that would watch my videos. So this is a bit less in US, probably around nine. However, after the coronavirus, um, you can see my CPM or earnings per thousand of people that watch my videos has gone down to around $8 or even less. So these are far, far apart in terms of the time range. So these little figures minus 14 are not that accurate. However, like looking at the general trend, there's a 40% decrease in revenue from when there was absolutely no difference in um, my, my earnings due to coronavirus and when earnings have been impacted pretty heavily by coronavirus on the right. So something interesting to look at now would be how much money YouTubers like Mr. Beast um, are making. So um, what we can do is look at how much, how many views he has. So he has 5 billion views. However, you can also look at this website. Uh, it's called socialblade.com. It's very popular for looking at how much money different people are making on platforms like YouTube. And when you go and look up Mr. Beast on this website, and I can put the link down below uh, to this website, not sponsored or anything, but you can look here and it says estimated monthly earnings and it'll give you a little range. However, this range is actually not so little. It's actually pretty ridiculous when you think about it. How is someone going from between $80,000 to $1.3 million? This is one of the big critiques of this website. You can't really get a nice estimate of how much money he's making because, I mean, the range is so ludicrous um, in nature. So I something I don't see other content creators talking about is how to make sense of this figure, which is what we're, we're also gonna talk about in this video. To do that, we're gonna do a little example. Between a dollar and a hundred dollars. So example, uh, pr pretend that this ad between a dollar and a hundred dollars is what he makes per month or some other YouTuber makes per month. So some people think that, okay, if it says this, then you know, you're probably gonna be in the middle somewhere. So you're gonna make around 50 bucks uh, probably because that's what the range is telling you and that's how you're gonna make sense of it. However, uh, after talking to some of my friends who are also content creators, this actually is pretty far from the case. So what we're looking at between one and 100, if we look at it linearly um, as a linear progression, between $1 and $100, the middle is about 50, right? Um, you kind of add them together and divide by two. However, what we need to actually do is convert this into a logarithmic model. Um, to kind of look at the, uh, the, the growth of the numbers in a logarithmic sense. So that means that the midpoint, the logarithmic midpoint would actually be 10 between $1 and $100, midpoint would be 10. And I'll show you how to calculate this for other uh, ranges of numbers at the end. So this is actually fair closer to what the, the YouTuber is earning in terms of um, his or her monthly earnings or yearly earnings as shown on the Social Blade website. This is a great way to estimate um, how, how much they're earning instead of taking kind of the average of the two numbers. So if we look at my earnings, this is a screenshot from um, a couple of weeks ago. So we can look at the estimated monthly earnings here. So it says between $19 and $301, uh, for example. We can go to the right and we can see, okay, $19 and $301. These are, Cana these are um, in the American dollar uh, system. So the middle of these two numbers is about 160 US dollars. So is that how much I'm making? It's actually far from how much I'm making. In fact, if we convert this into a logarithmic model, the middle between 19 and 301 is not 160. It's actually $60.3. And if you look at my earnings for that given range, um, it actually was $67. And we can take a look at in this little chart, 
between $19 and $301. Now that this isn't linear, it's actually logarithmically growing, we can see that I'm around here. So I'm pretty close to the middle, but I'm very far away from the $160 figure that would have been the exact midpoint or the exact average of the two extremes. So the minimum of $19 and the maximum of $300. And another interesting thing is that most people um, are gonna make something in this, this middle range. So if you take the the range given to you by Social Blade, and you plot it out in a logarithmic manner, most people are gonna be down smack in this middle making around $60, and it's gonna only be less than 1% of people actually reaching this $300 range or going as low as this $20 range. That is um, how you can make sense of that figure. So this is the amount of people, that's what the height of the graph uh, represents. So most people would fall into this range. And a little uh, equation to do this would just to be Take the minimum and the maximum and just multiply them together and then take the square root of that value to get your estimate. So this would mean that a large channel like Mr. Beast would make around $300,000 a month. However, a small channel like me would be making around $70 a month and this is in US dollars. So now let's talk about some more of the realities of the situation. So what you can do is you can take that figure from Social Blade and right now you can take around 20 to 40% off of that and that is the true figure that that person is making during coronavirus because of the realities of the situation. Also, another problem that we have is that a lot of times videos can go um, unmonetized and this will be because of different things that might be inappropriate about the video like profanity or other random reasons. I mean, there's so many YouTubers right now that are just complaining about the system because a lot of times the algorithm thinks that your video is inappropriate when it might not be. Uh, and here's what they mean. So a green, a green uh, icon means you're good and a yellow one which uh, would occur for, beside your videos for a lot of people would mean that you're not eligible to make money uh, from ad revenue. So another interesting thing is that uh, your geographical location actually matters a lot and this is something that is not discussed much. Basically users in North America, so that would be like Canada and the United States mainly, get a lot more money from their ad revenue than users in other parts of the world. So Europe is actually pretty up, uh, uh, pretty up high there too. but this all comes down to the fact that if you're an advertiser and you're going to advertise to a certain population of people, the chance that you're going to get a high paying user um, see your ad is higher in North America and Europe than say in some second and third world countries. Uh, it doesn't make sense for an advertiser like Apple to be advertising in third world countries where essentially no one can use their services or afford their services. So this is why uh, content creators that are in North America or in the or in English speaking countries um, or high earning countries in general just make more money uh, from than other countries in the world. And finally, uh, of course, a lot of people are thinking about sponsors, like how much money are these YouTubers making from sponsors? I cannot discuss this because I personally do not know how much other YouTubers are making from sponsors. However, uh, this focus of this video is just gonna be purely about the YouTube platform and if it's worth it to be a content creator on YouTube. If you have sponsors or if you're using YouTube as a method to kind of uh, get people to your website or to sell something to them, then it's a different story for sure, uh, depending on how well you can accomplish that. But in terms of putting out content on YouTube, just for the purpose of putting content on YouTube, I would actually say that right now due to the kind of 40% cut and the fact that you need to get to a thousand subscribers before you can even start monetizing your videos. So you need to get a thousand subscribers. These are, the, these are the guidelines. You need to get 4,000 hours of watch time. So that is a lot of views. And you're gonna be faced with kind of a drastic, um, drastic decrease in the amount of money you're gonna be making. I would say that if you're gonna be just purely going into making content for YouTube for the money in terms of ad revenue, then right now is not a great time. I mean, it might be a cool time to start in terms of getting into it a couple uh, months down the line or maybe a couple of years down the line when the situation gets better But right now is not a great time um, For people that just solely rely on YouTube for the revenue This is why we have a lot of youtubers using patreon using a lot of different platforms to kind of get money from their Subscribers to be able to continue putting out content because it is just financially not feasible to to keep doing this and kind of relying on solely the YouTube revenue model all right, so that's about it for the video. So everyone's been asking, Kevin, like how much do you make and is it worth it to kind of put videos on YouTube? I don't do it just for the purpose of putting videos on YouTube, but I figured I'd share this piece of knowledge with you guys so you guys can kind of enjoy it and learn from it. So 
Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you just uh, stay tuned and I'll catch you guys on the next one.